What's up guys, this is Tyler from Typhoon Gaming and welcome back to another Mario Maker video. Today I have a quick level showcase for you. This is the latest level that I created called Hot Potato. It is a difficult, fast paced, uh, kind of like activated bomb -omb level in Super Mario World. And it's a lot of fun. I honestly don't think it should be a 0.24% clear rate level. I thought it would be closer to like 0.5 or 1%, but with enough practice, I think that you guys could beat this yourselves. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the level first, and then I will break down a couple of the tricks and kind of show you guys how to get past the difficult tricks in this level. So anyways, let's get right into it. All right, guys, first things first, we get an activated bomb. We have to throw it off and then spin jump on it. And then this part, we have to come up here, throw it in that slot. And now we have a little bit of bomb surfing section. Those munchers die at the last second. And then we come through this door and then we can start the next section. We get another activated bomb, throw it off there, throw it up there. We get another activated bomb, throw it up there. Come racing along here, hit this bomb, jump over this, bounce back, get the bomb again, throw it in there, through the key door, and then, uh-oh. Oh, God. <laughs> and then we have that troll ending there. I decided it would be fun to add that uh, troll ending. It basically looks like you're going to die because you're in a very tight space with an activated bomb, but then a mushroom comes and rescues you at the last second. But yeah, that is that is the level. It's really fast paced, like I said, so it's kind of hard to explain these things um, as they're happening. But we will go ahead and go in the editor and I'll show you a couple tricks. All right, guys, first things first, if you are interested in getting activated bombs in your levels like I did in this level, all you need to do is do the block layout that you see here. You need two horizontal blocks and then one down below and then one to the right of it and then you put a bomb in the gap there, and then a bomb on the left side on top of the far left block. And then all you need to do is then take another block, put it onto a track facing down, and then drag it right there. And then when we start this level up, that bomb on the left gets blown up and activated and sent to the left side for Mario to use. So yeah, this is really easy to set up for your own levels. Another tip is to use vines inside of your blocks, so that way if you reset the section or whatever, if you have a reset door, um, both the bombs and the blocks will respawn, allowing that section to happen exactly as it did the first time. All right, guys, anyways, we'll move on to the first trick. Um, there's really no easy way to explain this, but these arrows are the best indicators I could come up with to do this first trick. Um, you will get the bomb down here with Mario, you'll jump up here, and then right around this area when Mario is in between these arrows, you will want to throw the bomb off and then do a short spin jump um, onto the bomb when the bomb is around here, around this area while it's falling off. And then you'll do a spin jump and then the bomb will go down into this area right here and blow up the pile block. So we'll go ahead and show you guys that in slow motion so you can see. All right guys, that's all there is to it. It's pretty basic. And then this section up here with this bomb is another one that is just a little bit tricky, but if we remove this muncher, um, then I can show you this section real quick as well. But the arrows, once again, are the indicators as to where Mario needs to go. So you hit that one, hit that one, and hit that one. And as long as you're holding spin jump the whole time, you'll be able to go through this door without any issues. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any other questions about this level, be sure to let me know in the comments. But anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. 
feel free to leave a like and comment below. But until next time, I'm out.